So before we go any further, I know what someone's going to ask me, why have I got a strip on my nose? So I wear these when I sleep, because um, when I'm a bit heavier, you know, I snore too much and Robin moans about it, which is understandable. But um, I've been working a lot more on breathing through my nose, which I'm finding is helping a lot more with my abdominal control when I'm squatting, deadlifting, etc. And I'm waiting to do some cardio, so I keep this, well, I've just put it on before I go to do some cardio. But, um, so that answers all the questions for you. Another uh, really successful week, um, 0.4 down in weight, which isn't as much as some of the weeks, but still a good steady drop. Um, and I'll go into in a minute why that's it's not always um, that important. Training's been really, really good, um, really good. Like numbers going up or across the board, especially on my bigger movements. Um, so uh, PBR and both uh, my, my Smith press, my barbell press, my deadlift and my spider bar were all up um, a fair amount. And not even just the top sets, the back off sets as well. Um, one of the, the big things in a death set, I think people really, people really get in their own head that you're going to get weaker. And it's such a, a big thing. If you're going into a set thinking you're getting weaker, guess what? You're not going to hit that many... Um, PBs but what I've really noticed is I'll just use like regulate it myself so in a deficit for example this will also happen in the gaining phase but say if I my warm-up sets are just not moving I'll use my brain and maybe pull back slightly because as much as we know that we try to progress constantly you're not going to progress every movement every week um, but that week past there the big movements all moved really well. But what I mean by not going to progress everything, I hit a PB on my spider bar squat. I think it was up five kilos and also up two reps. And the rest of my session was shocking. Like I was just done. So sometimes you've got to be really careful of it. Different on certain movements like um, that are a bit smoother, but like legs just killed me. So you do have to watch that. Uh, what else happened this week? The Premiership's back, so can't complain about that. Got something to watch on TV. Although I'm an Arsenal fan, so is it really worth watching? Pretty sure, like, you put a pair of boots on my mum and she might do better than David Luiz. So that's been decent. And um, with the weight being done, so as I said, I'm down 0.4, which isn't as much um, as, I, as I was, well, as I've dropped the other weeks. My lowest weight was Saturday, I was down a fair amount, my checking day is Friday, and then today is Monday, and my weight was actually up to the highest it's been in a week and a, no, the highest it's been in two weeks, but this is where it's not all about weight, um, yesterday was a rest day for me, so um, lower calories, no training obviously, but steps were still there, done my cardio, but I woke up this morning, and uh, I'll brush my teeth before I weigh myself because our scales aren't in the bathroom. And my visuals, visuals were way better than when I noticed last week. And the scales was the scale was up, but that's okay. And that's where people need to be realised that it doesn't overly matter what you weigh if the visuals are there. And because I've dieted so many times, you get used to it. So I'd say from about Saturday onwards is the first time when I've been looking, I've started to notice areas really tightening up. So like abdominals, a little bit more through my back. My quads look leaner, but my quads actually in my gaining phase were still holding decent condition. But um, I'm starting to notice that I just look a fair bit tighter across certain areas. And I will throw up a video now that you can have a look at that sort of shows you how I'm looking um, just in a various different poses. segue of me drinking a coffee on a bit of a 
bit of a weird street. Um, the reason for this segue is something that I actually find so productive during dieting is that obviously my steps will increase, therefore I am out and about more. But when I'm walking, I actually find it probably my most productive time for me writing content um, or thinking of ideas, etc. So make sure as you are doing one thing, so you're taking one box, you're still focusing on the other because a lot of ideas will pop in my head and I also just find it really relaxing and this week's been a bit up and down to be honest, it's been a difficult one but I've just had a really good meeting with about some stuff that might be happening so I won't tell anyone too much but really good productive meeting um, of what I've done with steps already um, this morning which found it, I also found it really easy to sort of get my content planned out for next week have a think about a few things I'm going to change um, etc so when you're doing things like that I think a lot of the time people see it as a task like, oh shit, I've got to go do my steps. But I actually look at it the opposite way. Like, one, it's good to get out of the house. Two, you can go look at some nice scenery. Three, spend time with your loved ones. Normally me and Robin walk, she's in Glasgow, she's not here. But it's very productive. And the amount of times people see it as the opposite is staggering to me. So focus on how to make everything you're doing go in the same direction so there's a post there um, so obviously when I'm doing my cardio I'm still being productive when I'm doing training it's productive and now I'm going to go back to drinking my long black the <laughs> the next clip you're going to see in a minute is me doing an incline press but when I speak the gazebo is a way to fly away so you'll see a little bit of that also very very difficult to keep concentration on a press when you think that you might take off so it's all fun and games outside so right now i'm going into i suppose you've got like a 60 degree incline press um targeting my sort of upper chest that will have anterior delts as well um but this isn't that heavy when you look at that but my pressing is not that strong just purely because my right shoulder's knackered, um, it needs treatment on it, or probably surgery. So I've not done any pressing with a barbell or dumbbells in like two and a half years. So over lockdown, transitioning back in, that has been pretty difficult. But what's good about it is that I'm seeing, um, like it's like a new stimulus. So because I'm having to stabilize a lot and stuff. Also this rack, I've not got a spot here. This rack is a nightmare because the pins are at an angle, so lifting it off is difficult. But we'll put a little bit more weight on the bar because, well, every other movement's been up, so let's see how it is. So that was actually one rep down, five kilos up, so not that bad. It's now um, Wednesday night, so obviously we've had the announcements from the government down south in England and in Scotland, and it does look like the gyms are going to be a little bit further back than I think. We were getting a little bit excited and thinking it was going to be mid-July, but from the get-go, we had been thinking sort of mid-August, so it doesn't really change any plans. And something that's been fucking real good this week, um, just in general, or really good over the whole of lockdown is, the amount of results our team are getting and the amount of clients having unreal transformations over this period is 
brilliant and it's motivating and it's something that's only going to keep pushing forward over the, the remainder of the, the sort of quote-unquote lockdown, even though the, the guidelines are starting to loosen a little bit. So basically coming into, I would presume, September will be the full run at the gym before we even see any form of norma normality. So it's been actually a real good week um, since the last, I think I've done my first video on Monday. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing. Um, I, I was expecting some uh, some tears or uh, some tantrums when the, the gyms got pushed back. But I think a lot of people looked at it from a logical perspective and focused on their goals. Um, and from myself, it's uh, today was the lowest weight I've been since... I think the last time I was this weight was last July, right before I went to Greece. So I was... 86 kilos today um, when I started lockdown I was uh, 92 kilos on the dieting phase I've only dropped about four and a half but yeah I'm down uh, a fair bit more than that which is which is nuts considering none of this has been done in the gym so I'm feeling good again as I was saying on the video earlier the visuals are looking tighter the I don't need to drop off too much more to be honest this phase was just to get an appetite back get me sort of in a better position. I still need to get blood work done um, and see where I am from there, but just get me in a better position to transition back into a gaining phase. What is really good about it though is that I'm feeling strong um, and also appetite's not really too bad, to be honest. My calories are high, my um, cardio and steps are still really, really manageable. So I'm hitting at the moment um, three cardio sessions across the week, two 30 minute ones on rest days and a 20 minute one on upper body. So 80 minutes. Steps are between 10,000 and 14,000, just depending. Um, on lower body days, we'll tend to just hit 10,000 on the upper. It'll be a little bit higher, but that's really manageable. Um, just with walking about where we walk to train, there and back is like 1,500 steps. So and um, that is easy and the calories are averaging out about 2.5 but they're still super high, carbs are high so I'll still pull off another couple of kilos and um, it is whatever data it is just now, it's the last week of June I'll keep pushing till around about August just to prime myself to be in a real good position to push body weight back up but in all seriousness um, I don't need much else to come off. Like, I don't need to be stage lean to transition back into a gaining phase. I could do one now, but I'm just biding my time. Um, still just waiting for that appetite to come back as as, as much as I want it to be. Um, drugs are really low at the moment. My um, drugs are just 400 milligrams test, um, sorry, 500 milligrams test, which um, has went up um, a couple of weeks ago, but it's still pretty low, nothing else in there. So I'm in a very good position. You'll see over the next couple of weeks as well, I'll most likely lean up a little bit more. If I start hitting sort of below 85, I think it's just too light, like my stage weight's 82. So I just don't think I need to be there, so I'll then implement a few other things. But it's been a real productive week for myself and for clients. Um, obviously it's Wednesday night right now. My check-ins on a Friday, so we'll see what the average is. I um, should see a drop tomorrow because leg day, I always see a drop. And then obviously it's rest day. So we should see another really good um, average drop this week. And that's been one every week since we started. So all in all, spot on. Um, you'll see the visuals as well on my Instagram, I'm sure. If anyone's got any questions, um, anything they want me to cover, anything they want me to um, do next week on the vlog, let me know and I will record that for you and you can drop me DMs on my Instagram.